A, B, and C, and figure out how much it's going to cost. Now, the word per lets you know you're going to use what operation? Multiplication. Multiplication. Okay? So for A, they're charging $2.85 per shirt. You're going to multiply that by what number? Uh, 200. Two, two, 200. So use your calculator to tell me what you get. I got 570. $2.85 times 200 gives you what? 570. $5.70? Yeah. $5.70? No, 500 $570. So for company A, it's going to cost you $570. Now for company B and company C, please don't forget that you have to do what? Add 3.5% of the total cost. So we'll do this one together. <coughs> what do you think the first step is to figure out for company B? You have to change 3.5% to a decimal. To a decimal, okay, we can go with that. And 3.5% of the decimal is what? 0 0.035. 0 0.035. Okay, so that's one thing. What's something else we need to do? Uh, you got multiply Say it again, Jay. Multiply 270 from 250. No, 270. No, 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 this gives you $540, all right? Mm -hmm. Now that's how much it costs for the 20 shirt. But then it says plus 3.5% of, of means to do what? Multiply. multiply. So you're gonna multiply 3.5 times what? Zero, point zero three Correct, but you're gonna multiply it by what? No. Of the total order, how much was the total order? 500. That's t-shirt. 540. Thank you, Kevin. That's what you was going to say? So, okay. so you're going to have 540 times 0 0.035. Is it? It's, it's 189. I got 540. It's 18.9. 18.9. So that'll be how much money? $18.90. Okay. So quick question. This $18.90 represents what? What does that represent? The total for, how much electrical is the ship out? Thank you. The shipping fee. Correct. Good job, Aaron. So now we want to know how much company B charges total. We want to know the total order, right? So you the total add, order. Add, add, add what together? $540 plus $18. Thank you. And you want to get what? You said tax or class? $558.90. Good job, Eric. So now, Eric, why didn't you do go back and explain everything we just did for company B, please? Uh, what are you saying? It's explaining it. All right, so first we had to multiply $2.70 by 200 because that's how many shirts you bought it, so that's how much a shirt will cost. Then that's when we had to turn 3.5 into a decimal so we can multiply that by 540. So why then, did you do that? So we can get the, uh, the, the total cost for the ship out. The shipping fee, correct. The shipping fee. And then that's when we had to add it together to uh, we can get the total cost of all. Correct. Anybody not understand what Erica just said? Jamiri? Do you understand? Jamie, you good? A little? What part are you confused at? Help me out. Help me out, Jamie. The motor, uh, the way y'all got the motor plant. Okay, so we already know that the order is going to be a total of 200 shirts, correct? Mm -hmm. So it costs $2.70 per shirt. So 200 times $2.70 gave us $540. All right? Mm -hmm. So then it says plus, which means we got to add something, right? 3.5% mm -hmm. of would mean to do what? Mm -hmm. Of the total order. The total order was $540. So we multiply that by 0 0.035 because we converted 3.5% into a decimal. Okay? And that gave us $18.90. So $18.90 represent the shipping fee. Alright? So you gotta add the shipping fee and how much it'll cost for all the shirts. And we got a total of $558.90. So now I need everybody to try company C on their own and then we'll go over together.
go, Ray Hunt. Just follow the steps you did in company B. Make sure you write down every step. And although you don't have any room on this paper, heaven, tell them what would you do if you wanted full credit. Write out. Oh, right. Write what out? The Bible. Put it in the Put it out. Write your answer in a complete sentence if you want full credit. Now, once you solve for company C, the bottom part said list the company name in order to show the total cost from least to greatest. From least to greatest. 